Hello, people. Well, this is, um, this is Pazuzu Yesian in person, uh, two years later. Um, so anyway, if you're watching this video, you've probably watched my How to Make a House Google Sketchup video, and you are having, and you have a question that is very frequently asked. So before you, like, go ahead and ask it in the comments, um, hopefully you click the little annotation that popped up. This is just going to be a quick little video about, um, <coughs> the how basically frequently asked questions. Now, one of the most frequently asked questions is how come I have so many tools when they don't have very many tools at all? Well, if you keep watching the video or if you just leave your annotations on while watching the video, you'll be, you will, can find a, there's an annotation there with the, that links to a video uh, where I explain how to get that many tools. And I will tell you that I really probably don't have that many more tools than you do because a lot of those toolbars are actually duplicates of the others. It just kind of apparently looks like I have a lot of tools. But you can go check out that video anyway. The annotation is in that video. Um, it might be somewhere here. You never know. It's probably hidden. Um, anyway. <coughs> Let's see. And another one is that um, some people have been complaining that their move tool doesn't exactly behave the proper way that it should. Well, one way you can try fixing this is by, um, before doing the actual moving with the move tool, you can use the arrow keys to snap onto specific ac axes. Um, for instance, I believe up and down will snap onto the blue axes. The, um, what is it? The left and right uh, uh, arrow keys. I don't exactly remember which one snaps to what, but I, I think the right snaps to green axes and re um, left snaps to the red one. Um, I might be wrong. It might go the other way. I'm not sure. But um, that is that. And I'm thinking if there's any other frequently asked questions. I'm not really sure. Oh! Some people have actually asked me where I get sketchy physics. Um, that, you just Google it. I mean, seriously, all you gotta do is just Google sketchy physics. It is coming up, the way it's spelled, it's coming up on the screen. Um, yeah, so make sure you Google that and you can be able to probably find it. Um, and the downloading is, it's kind of explained on the website. I really don't know how I downloaded it really, but, um, yeah, just Google it, and you should be able to figure it out on your own, because I, th I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. Okay, here's um, another kind of frequently asked question. Some people have been asking me, how do I record my screen? Some people think I'm using my webcam in some mysterious way. First of all, I don't have a webcam, so um, that should not have to be asked anymore. Uh, but really, it is a program known as Hypercam. Um, you can also download a slightly smaller um, program called Cam Studio that, I don't know, it doesn't really work that well with audio for me, but um, I don't have a microphone anymore on my computer, so it don't really bother me a bit. Um, yes. So, there's one more question. Alright, this is not really exactly a question, but um, I just find it kind of ironic <coughs> or just weird that <clears throat> Some people seem to think that I sound a lot like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I I don't know why, because I don't think I sound anything like him. Because I've seen plenty of, you know, or I've at least overheard plenty of news articles about him. Um, because of this recent unfortunate event. And I don't really think I sounded like him that much in, in this video anymore, so, um, yeah. I guess I did, what, are you kidding me, Safari froze again. This is an interesting glitch, I just found this actually. My keyboard is down there, and it actually works. <laughs> I don't know, anyway, time to look for more. Oh man, I swear, I hate this new software update, it's like killed my iPod completely. I'm trying to find more questions for you guys, but I can't.
stuck here. Oh no, well, I'll be back. I'll be back when I find another one. Sorry. All right, you might be noticing a slight change in back um, backlight because as well. There is a lot of questions. I just decided to go ahead and write down all of them, all of the ones that I haven't said yet. Okay, so this might be a two-part video, and I want this to change. Thank you. Okay. And it's going to change back. I fail. Okay. Once it changes, we will get back into questions. Is Google SketchUp free? Yes, it is. If you actually look up in the title of my video, it actually says in capital letters that it is the free edition of Google SketchUp 6. What program is this? Well, if you're talking about what program I'm using to record it, it is Hypercam 2. But, the program that I am using to make the house is Google SketchUp, obviously. So, yeah, it's kind of a ridiculous question, but whatever. If you must ask it, go ahead. I mean, it's, yeah. Where's the move tool? Well, if you don't have the move tool, then you should go ahead and watch my tutorial on how to get the um, larger tool sets, because even though I said some of it's just duplicates, it does contains some tools that you don't get if you don't turn all the toolbars on. And sorry. Do I use the pro version? No, I am using the free version. Uh, where is Google SketchUp? Google SketchUp is on Google, of course. You just go on to google.com and then just got Google, Google SketchUp, <laughs> and then download it from the first link you should see. Um, does it contain viruses? Actually, no one asked this question, but I thought someone was asking this question, so I think it would be a good idea to answer it anyway. Um, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't. But what he was trying to ask was, does it make the computer lag? Well, depends on the kind of computer you have. My laptop, which I might actually be able to show you, this thing right here would definitely... It definitely has some lag issues when I run Google SketchUp on it because it is so flippin' old. However, the computer I used for filming the tutorial was, in fact, able to handle it pretty nicely. And it still does today. Okie dokie. Um, can you make a two-story house? Yes, actually, I have made a two-story house before. It wasn't exactly a house, but it was a two... St it was a, um object with two, like, spaces in it, so, like, one on top of the other, I'll, I'll, I don't know. You might, I might make a tutorial on how to do that if I remember how to. It's rather complicated, I think, though, but I'll try anyway, why not? Okay, where is the section plane tool? The section plane tool, if you have the large tool set turned on in your tool box settings in the view menu, which, you know, if you watched my how to get all the toolbars in Google SketchUp tutorial, you should already have done that. But anyway, the section plane tool, uh, I think it looks just basically like a kind of a semi-transparent rectangle with a arrow pointing to it. I'm not sure. But um, it should be located um, in the vertical... Oh wait, in the vertical toolbar on the second row. Just kind of look in that general area. I mean, you'll you'll see it if you mouse over it. It'll give you a little tooltip on saying what it is. Alright, actually, we're almost through with the questions. <laughs> anyway, even though I... Wa oh, wait, never mind. Even though I've watched the video on how to get toolbars, I still have less than you. How do I get the others? Well, um... You might be missing the um, uh, sandbox tools, which can be accessed through the preferences. I'm, forgive me if I get this wrong. I think what you do is you go into Window, and then you click on Preferences, and then um, I can't exactly remember what it is called. Uh, the little section. Just kind of go through sections until you see some something related to tool boxes. And, like, you should be able to get your, um, sandbox tools from there. And the, um, other two choices, those aren't exactly toolbars. Those are more just tools that 
require really intelligent people to use, and I, it's like, the Ruby console is for, like, coders, I, like, people who know code, I kind of know code, but I don't think I can make it any tools for Girl Sky Joe. Anyway, 